Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. David, why are blueprints blue? Don't ask silly questions. What's silly about that? I don't know the answer. You won't understand even if I do tell you. Try me and see. After all, I'm married to an architect. The least you can do is tell me why blueprints are blue. Well, because blueprints are negatives. You mean negatives like photographs that aren't photographed yet? Exactly. But they aren't photographed, are they? And never will be. Darling, they have to be able to be photographed because they're negatives. Except photographs are usually positive, and a positive is a photograph printed. But why are they blue? Claudia, isn't there something that you have to do? There's nothing I have to do. It's 8.30... And finished with the dishes, and we're spending a quiet evening at home discussing our new house. And all I want to know is why our blueprints blue and why their negatives are positive. And you said they're photographed and they're not even photographed. Heaven send me patience. I had to go and be an architect. Now look, darling. Imagine a photograph. I'm imagining. The photograph is a print. Of what? Of a negative. Oh, and a blueprint is a negative. Exactly, but uh, printed. I see. But, David, you said that a photograph is a print of a negative, and a blueprint is a negative printed. Then why isn't it a photograph? Because it's a print of a negative. A photograph is a print of a positive. Oh, why don't they print it positive? Well, you could have a positive made out of it, which would be a photograph, and it would be in black and white. It's simple. A blueprint is a positive negative. In blue, printed. You've even got me mixed up. Claudia, go back to your knitting. Goodbye. I'm not mixed up, but really it's so simple. Goodbye. David, do they have to be blue? Of course they would have to be, or they wouldn't be called blueprints. Well, if it's just for the name, then there could be red prints or pink prints or purple prints. There print. could not be. Why? Because they are blueprints. But they are only blueprints because, honestly, you leave one little thing like this up to men and they make it so complicated. <laughs> Have to be blue. Who? <laughs> Why don't you make your blueprints red, darling? Why don't you? I love red. All right, I'll make them red. Well, you don't have to make them all red. Just make the ones for our house red. Wouldn't be any trouble, would it? Oh, no, no, not at all. All we would have to do is revolutionize the printing industry. Well, that's silly. There's plenty of red paper around. I've got lots left from Christmas. I'm so glad for you. David, what are you drawing? I'm just trying to make a few sketches of some of the things I want to do to the house. Like, for instance? Well, it's nothing definite, but I want to get things going so I can go up to Eastbrook at the beginning of the week with a blueprint. Red print. So we can... Get the contractor working on remodeling the house. How long will it take? Well, I'd like to have it ready to move in by spring. spring. Uh, yeah, please, darling. Please let me go on sketching in some of my suggestions. Oh, I want to help. Certainly you can help. Oh, wonderful. Certainly. You can keep perfectly still for 25 minutes or so, and then I'll show you what I've sketched, and then you suggest to me all your suggestions, and then we'll combine the two of them, and then I'll make a final sketch, which I will then make into a... Blueprint. Red print. Well, I don't want to wait till then, David. Why can't we combine our suggestions in the first place? No. I knew this was going to happen. Now, David, I want you to be sure there are enough closets. Closets may not mean anything to you, but they mean everything to a woman. They do. I never realized that. Everything? Well, practically everything. How many closets would you like? At least ten. In each room? 
course not, silly. Two in each room will be enough. Darling, you know, of course, you need wall space before you can have closets. Why? I don't need walls and closets, too. Sorry I brought it up. Sorry. And David. Yes? I'd like a bay window in each room, please. Darling, bay windows in every room, it will look absurd on an old American salt box. We're having plumbing, aren't we? What's that got to do with it? When the house was built, it didn't have any plumbing. So if we're going to have plumbing, why can't we have bay windows, too? Because plumbing doesn't show and bay windows do. I'll let you have one in the dining room. What? A plumbing? I refuse to answer. I'd rather have it in the living room, David. The window, I mean. Why? Because I'm in the living room more than I am in the dining room, that's why. Oh. I don't see why it's more difficult to have it in one room than in the other. Darling... Give me a chance, will you? Let me try and make out this plan, and then I'll let you all make all... All right, darling, I don't mind. If you'd rather, we'll do it your way. David. Mm. I like high ceilings. That's nice. Can I have high ceilings? No. Why not? Because the ceilings in these old American houses are low. Well, can't you push them up a little? Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Push them up a little, and you're going to add a few inches on the walls to hold the ceilings up. Very simple. I'll take it into consideration. And then, of course, I want a storeroom and lots of extra shelves in the kitchen and a playroom in the cellar. I thought we'd put the heater and the boiler in the cellar. Do you mind? Do we have to? I'd rather have a playroom. Where would you like the heater and the boiler? In the living room with the bay window? Well, are they very big? Oh, we'll get a small one, dear, so that they won't be in your way. Oh, that's very sweet of you, David. Now, let me see. There are a lot of other things I want to tell you while we're at it. I think it would be very important to have it. Who's that? I don't know. Why don't you open it and see? All right, I will. I'm coming. You don't have to repeat yourself. Why, Mama, thought you might want your glove. Who is it? Who do you think it is? Just who I thought it was. Come on in. I will not. I'm going home. Come on in, Mama. We were just discussing what we're going to do to the house. You are? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm just in time. Are you coming or are you going? You coaxed me. I'm coming. Hello, Mother. Hello, David. Uh, Mother, you can do me a big favor. Anything, David? You keep Claudia busy while I try and sketch out a rough idea of the work we've got to do on this new house of ours. I, um, I hope you're going to change the stairs, David. They seem awfully steep to me. Mama's right, David. Steep stairs are dangerous. Uh, Go home, Mother. Why, I just came. You asked me in. Oh, oh, and David, I've been thinking... Of what, Mama? Well... I don't think you ought to make the attic into spare rooms. Uh, much too warm in the summer, too damp in the winter. Of course, I don't want to butt in, but... Oh, of course not. David, I think Mama's right. You suggested that we make the attic into a spare room. Well, that was before you told me about the extension. Oh, you're building an extension. Well, while you're at it, I suggest you put in a cedar closet. You know, right off where you go down into that little... Too many closet. cooks. Mama, what do you think about bay windows? They're lovely, Claudia. But a room needs more heat, and you have... That's right, David. If you put the bay window in the living room... Is that where I said I wanted it? I don't know. Look, uh, you two girls. Why don't you get yourselves a piece of paper and write all these things down, and then while I'm sketching uh, David, this... your bedroom, which way does it face? Face what, Mama? East, south, west, or north? I don't know. I, I haven't decided yet. Of course, I, I wouldn't want to butt in, David, and I know you're an architect... But when I was a girl, we lived in a house, and my mother's room faced the south. This is a plot. Plot, who's he? I don't know anybody called Plot. Uh, I'm coming. I am insulted. Roger, hello. Hello, Claudia. Are you and David home? Busy? We're home. We're not busy, and Mama's here, too. Come on in. I love you. I'm just going by, and I had an idea for David about reconstructing the entry without spoiling any of the... Roger, is that you? Indeed it is. Uh, sure you don't mind my dropping in? Can't tell you how glad I am to see you. Maybe you can protect me from these would-be female architects. David, I was thinking about that front entry. Oh, no. You too say it isn't so. Oh, hello, Mrs. Brown. Glad, glad to see you again. <laughs> Mr. Killian, this is very nice. Well, as I was saying, David, you don't want to spoil the simplicity of that entry. But at the same time, we will need more space. 
David, what do you think? Me? You mean you want my opinion? Why not? Well, I think Perfectly that we... right, David. Now, let me see, Claudia. I wanted to ask you about something I thought of. Here's a little sketch I made while I was having dinner. Oh, sit down on the sofa, Roger. And, Mommy, you sit on one side of him and I'll sit on the other. David, you can come and look, too. Thank you very much. Well, now, here we are. Uh, here are the stairs. Is that where they are? Well, I thought they were over here. Uh, these go up, is that right? Right, to the second floor. Oh, I, I think I'd r rather have them going down to the cellar. That's not a bad idea. Make sort of a little pantry. Oh, I love pantries. I keep cookies in them. Uh, oh, and Roger, what do you think of having a window in this room here? I think a southern exposure is just marvelous to have. Yes, very nice, by all means. Mama. Yes? Where do you think the bay window ought to be? Well, I'd put it on the wall opposite the fireplace in the living room. That's a marvelous idea. But don't you think we ought to have one in the dining room, too? That's where David wants it. Why not? Uh, here. Oh, no. In there, facing this way. Then you'll get cross-ventilation. Oh, I love cross-ventilation, too. I don't think any of this will be terribly difficult to do, and not very expensive, either. Uh, Claudia, you want to be sure you have enough closet space. Oh, particularly on the ground floor, so that you don't have to run up and down the stairs all the time. How about a closet? Here. Then it'll work for the kitchen and the living room and the dining room, too. Excellent. David said that I... David, David darling, why aren't you over here? What's the matter? So humble, there's no... Mm, nothing. Nothing's the matter. Just didn't want to interrupt you. Well, aren't you interested? David, we'd love to have your advice. Well, yes, David. We're in this together. Well, to tell you the truth, I've been taking notes on your suggestions. You have? I figured you wouldn't remember very well uh, all of your ideas, so I've been sitting over here jotting them down. Oh, that's an excellent idea. So glad you thought of it. Would you like me to go over them for you? Yes, that would be very nice. Then we'll know just where we're at. Go on, David. Well, now, let me see. Here we are. There's a pair of stairs here and a pair of stairs there. Two pairs? That's what you said, darling. One to go up and one to come down. Did I say that? You did. And you, Roger, you wanted one bay window facing down the cellar stairs. Did I say that? You did. And, oh, Claudia, uh, you planned on the closet opening into the downstairs bath. And, Mrs. Brown, you suggested a window, southern exposure, opening out with a beautiful view into the pantry. Did I say that? If I may coin a phrase, you have all said a houseful. <laughs> <laughs> This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. What if marketing does take a little more time and effort than it used to? You can ease the strain by stopping for an ice-cold Coca-Cola. When you shop refreshed, you shop more wisely, and you'll feel better at the day's end. You'll see that familiar red cooler in food stores now, as well as at fountains, lunch rooms, and service stations. It's there to remind you of the pause that refreshes. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.